Connie, and I'm here to do another Get Ready With Me. I haven't done one for probably three weeks or so, and um, I'm going to do it a little different this time. I am going to do it with some review items. Um, all the makeup, you know, I had before, but I have gotten, I, through a private email, I got this for free. These brushes. There's five of them. There is the foundation brush, which um, they don't say anything on them, so you don't know what size they are or anything. This is, I'm guessing, um, foundation or blush or whatever. I'm going to use it for blush. This is um, just a little itty bitty one. Um, I'm going to use this for concealer. I might use this one for highlighter too. Um, I'm going to use this for concealer though, and um, not sure. This one here is a lip brush, but I, I and I don't know um, between that and this one, I'm going to do my eyes. <laughs> okay, and then I wanted to show you another one that I'm not going to open or I'm not going to use yet. This I got from Review Kick. And this is a bigger one yet. See, this is the one I got for free. This is one I got from Review Kick. And then I had a couple more that I had gotten. Um, this one here I got for review quite a while ago. And I used it yesterday for my blush. You can see the tint of my blush in there. Um, it is very, it is so dense powder's flying. It is so dense it's really hard to put it on. So I don't know that I will be using this one or I'll figure something else out for this one. I don't know for sure. Um, and then this one I bought myself. That is that is a just about the same size as this one. Um, this one here may be just a tad bigger. I'm not sure. But this one here I got for five dollars on um, Amazon.com. I saw a video of somebody comparing this brush to the $60 one by Artiste. Artiste. Um, their big brush like this cost $60. This one cost five. She reviewed it and she could not tell the difference between the two except for, you know, the Artiste was prettier. You know, it had the silver and stuff. This is just black. You you know, with these brushes, you have to you have to kind of hold them like this. You know, some people hold them like this and do their makeup. Um, to be safe, I like to hold them like this because they could snap if you press too hard. You know, they're they're not gonna snap, you know, if you're doing this, but if you pressed way too hard, it would be easy to do that. So it's best just to kind of give it a little bit of support. But anyway, um, this is this one here is very dense also, but it is awesome for putting on foundation. So um, this one here is not quite as dense. It is, I don't know if you can see, um, but it's so soft. It is so soft. But this one is a little bit denser, and it doesn't go down as easy. This one here um, feels the same going both ways. This one here feels wonderful one way, but a little bit tougher going the other. The the nap or whatever you call it. Anyway, this is the one that I I bought myself. And I'm going to put that to the side because I'm just going to be using these five. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is put on some primer. I did already. I'm having an extremely bad hair day. Excuse me. I cannot get my bangs. I'm, I'm not deciding whether I want to let my bangs grow a little bit or if I want to just keep them as bangs. You guys give me your opinion. Should I let them grow and go off to the side? I've got such a high forehead. That's why, you know, I'm thinking that I need bangs. Um, or should I, um, should I cut them or let them grow? Let me know what you think. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is put on my primer, and I'm using my absolute favorite one, which is Spackle by Laura Geller. Um, it is in Ethereal, I think. Where in the heck did I see the name of it? Ethereal, yes. And it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to use that first. Shake it up a little bit. 
Here's my mirror, of course. I always has to have to look in my mirror. I'm going to put you in just a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. Okay. Primer I'm going to put on with my fingers, just like always. put too much on my fingers because the, the little bit goes a long way with the stuff. Yep, I think I got a little bit too much. So this is the first time I have filmed for about a almost two weeks. I, I uploaded stuff all last last week, but I did not film at all last week. Um, this is Tuesday. It's my day off. Um, I just had a really bad bout last week. Um, my mom and I got in a big fight. I, I just felt kind of worthless. <laughs> You know, um, and I could not make myself get out of my gal dang chair to get up and take a shower so I could film. So, anyway, here we are, brand new week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, probably about five videos today I'm gonna put up. So, this is always my first one, my get ready with me. So, I am dry now, so I'm going to use my um, Maybelline Better Skin. Uh, skin Transforming Foundation in Actyl C, and it's oil-free, and this is the color, I can't hardly see today, 15 Ivory. Shake that up a bit. All right, let's put some on the back of my hand here. Do two pumps. Take this. I'm going to put a little bit on my cheeks here. on my fingers. I don't want to get it all over my brush. Get it in here and see. Washed my face, but I didn't wash it good enough because I still have a little bit of mascara mascara smear. Went on very nicely. I'm 
you're sp you're not supposed to dab. I've seen some people dab with this, but you're not supposed to. Um, I have seen, um, you know, some people just dabbing their stuff on, but you are supposed to sweep it, and it does a wonderful job. Um, I put a mirror behind my camera, so I'm not looking into the viewfinder all the time. I'm trying to look at myself behind the camera. So hopefully that looks better to you guys. It doesn't look like I'm looking off to the side. Let me know what you think about that, okay? Um, I might turn it a little bit because it's a lot behind my camera. It's just a dollar store mirror. Anyway, that was this brush, the big brush. And if you can tell, everything just gets on the surface and gets wiped away. These are such good brushes. I love them. I highly recommend them. All right, so that is for my primer and my foundation. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the mir Miraness. Is that what it's called? I can't ever remember. Miranessa, Miranessa, whatever it's called. But I this is about my favorite. I really like this stuff. Um, I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it in a beauty box. I know I didn't buy it. Okay. Oh, now that first swipe, I smear it everywhere. cleaned this spoolie while I was at it too. It was another one. By the way, I found, remember when, for you that have watched me for a while, remember I could not find my spoolie anywhere. So I had to order a new one. I found it under, wedged underneath of my desk. <laughs> so now I have, I have three because one came with something. I can't remember even what it came with. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to put some um, eyeshadow primer on. This is always a little bit watery if you don't squeeze it or shake it up or... I do love this stuff. First time I used it, I wasn't so sure though because it came out really watery. But after that, I learned that you need to mix it. All right, eyeshadows. I am going to use my Tarte palette. I just love this palette. I use this quite often, actually. Come on here. I haven't decided if I'm going to use this blush. I might use this blush out of there. I was going to use a different one, but I think that I'm going to use the one that's in here. And the highlighter, too, probably. Might as well just use the one palette. Put my highlighter away, then, that I had planned on. Okay, eyeshadows. I don't know how to do this with these br little brushes. 
I guess we will see. Okay. Let me use this all over my lid. Come on here. Since I'm wearing kind of a burgundy top, I am going to put burgundy on my eyes. Sorry, I hope you can see me. Sure kicks the shadow off of it. I don't like this brush for this. I'm actually not, I'm going to go to a regular brush because I do not like this. I think this was a, a, supposed to be a lip brush, so I will wash this and then I will use it as a lip brush later on. better. Okay, Put that brush away. Put my gold in the center. I haven't been doing that, but this looks. Okay, um, let's do my eyeliner, and I'm going to use the Master Kajal by Maybelline. It's really in black. I really like this. Just goes on so easy. Okay. Mascara, I'm going to use my Super Sizer by CoverGirl. And this is in very black, I think, that says. Hey, bud. Hear him say hello back to me. What are you doing, buddy? He 
He's laying under my desk, right by my feet. Okay, blush. So I'm going to use my Tarte blush. What I used on my eyes was this as the base and these two as my eyeshadows. I don't know how these work. This works. You're gonna have to tell me if it looks good enough. <laughs> okay, that was. I used this brush for that. And I am going to use this one for my highlighter. And I'm going to use this highlighter. Well, that works fine for highlighter. Oops, you know what I forgot? I guess I'm going to go without concealer today. Because it's too late to put it on now. Not when I have all my other stuff there, so I won't use my concealer today. That's okay. All right, for lipstick. And like I said, I use this little one here for my highlighter. Okay, lipstick. I am going to use Urban Decay. It is the Matte Revolution Lipstick in matte bittersweet and I got this when um, Urban Decay was doing their $11 for their lipsticks I got um, this one and I got a um, Rush what is just the Revolution lipstick and they come in different packages this is just the Revolution and this is the matte Revolution And this is what I love lipsticks that are shaped like this. They're just easier for me. But it's it's a purple. It's a, it's a, almost like a fuchsia, fuchsia purple color, kind of. I forgot my powder. Excuse me. I'm going to, I'm going to use my Stay Matte by Rimmel. And let's see. I think I'm just going to use my powder brush because I just think this is best for powder. All right, guys, that is my makeup of the day. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I really, I'm saying I'm um, an awful lot, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know. There's my eyes, my blush, and my highlight, and my lipstick. 
I can't do it like everybody else does. I hate the pouty look. I just hate it. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.